In the previous video, we saw that these components made up the basic distributor ignition system. This video focuses on electronic ignition systems. There's two main types, waste spark and coil on plug. Both systems modify the coil and do away with these components. A waste spark system replaces those components with the coil pack and appropriate spark plug wires. The coil on plug system replaces those components with a few of these. Compared with distributor ignition, electronic ignition is easier, there's less fault points, and theoretically less money is spent on parts. No more cracked distributor caps. No more corroded contacts. No more moisture misfiring. And best of all, no more base timing adjustments. So, if base timing cannot be adjusted, how can timing be inadvertently changed? Is it by a defective triggering device, by a slip timing belt, or a worn timing chain? The answer is all of the above. The primary circuit of electronic ignition still functions as it did in the distributor ignition system. It still needs a triggering device and a module that controls the ground circuit to the coils. In some systems, the ICM is eliminated and the PCM does all the switching. The waste spark system uses one ignition coil for every two cylinders. Two companion cylinders receive spark at the same time, but one of those sparks is wasted. What strokes are the companion cylinders on when they receive spark? The test is not going to ask you about a thorough analysis of the waste spark system. We're going to focus on how to diagnose a misfire on this system. For example, P0302, that's a misfire code for cylinder number two. After a visual inspection, you would check for spark at cylinder number two. You would also need to check for spark on its companion cylinder. If you're getting spark on the companion cylinder, but not on cylinder number two, you can rule out the ignition coil. The ignition coil is firing and the spark plug wire is suspect. You can check the resistance of the spark plug wire with the digital multimeter set to ohms. The specification for this particular wire is no more than 7,000 ohms per foot. This wire is good. If there's adequate spark but still misfiring, remove and check the condition of the spark plug. If it looks good, you can check its resistance. The specification for this particular spark plug is between 2,000 and 20,000 ohms. If this does not fix the misfire, then it is most likely not ignition system related. Moving on to the coil on plug system. This system does away with the spark plug wires. There's one of these at every cylinder. If you have a misfire on this system, you can always switch the coil on plug on the misfiring cylinder with another cylinder and see if the trouble code moves on to the other cylinder. If it does, the coil on plug is bad. You can check the resistance of the secondary windings on some of these. The specification for this coil is between 5,000 and 6,000 ohms. Also, this is a two-wire coil. Some of them have four wires. This one has the ignition control module built into it. Testing these will not be on the test. Basically, a no-start is usually a defect in the primary circuit, and a misfire is a defect in the secondary circuit. Waste spark requires the crankshaft position sensor but can function without the camshaft position sensor. Coil on plug requires both to function. I expect ignition system wiring diagrams to be on the test. Here's one for the distributor system. The distributor is clearly shown. Here's one for the coil on plug system. The coils are clearly shown. Last one is on the waste spark system. You can clearly see 
that one coil supplies spark for two cylinders. Let's review some A6 basics. What can happen if there's excessive resistance at this point? Obviously, all three coils in the coil pack will be affected. What if there's an open at this wire? If there's an open, then cylinder one and five will not fire. One more. What if there's excessive resistance at pin number three? Then cylinders three and four can have weaker than normal spark. And that's it for this video. Tune in for video number three, Emission Control Systems.